We've been watching the situation carefully for a number of weeks now as this dry spell has, has got longer and longer. Um, and now we've reached the point where our water resources are so low that we have got to go to a situation where we say we're officially in drought here in this part of the world now. Well, I think um, it affects different people in different ways. So, for example, in terms of drinking water supply, um, we don't anticipate any restrictions there at all this summer. Uh, but probably the most hard hit sector of the community will be the farmers, um, who at this time of the year will be looking for water to, to, uh, to water their crops, and particularly for irrigation of, of root crops in this part of the country, um, which is yeah, a big demand for water that we need to manage carefully now that we are uh, in a drought situation. If this dry spell continues, then that will have increasing impacts, particularly on those farmers who um, rely on abstraction in order to water root vegetables, potatoes and carrots and the like. Um, beyond that, looking further into the future, if the weather stays dry through the summer, into the autumn and into the winter, then by the time we get to spring next year, then obviously we'll be in a much more serious situation. And the drought restrictions then could start applying to other sectors and also to public water supply. We're a long way off, but we need to be looking that far ahead in order to plan and conserve what we've got.